7 Steps for Creating Rubrics Here's a step-by-step -step description for developing rubrics that outline the quality standards for student success in an assessment. Step 1. List assignment objectives. Break down learning objectives of the assignment into skills or actions you want to assess. For example, discussion post action, students post and respond. Discussion post skills, students analyze and evaluate. Step 2. Develop quality work criteria. Describe in general terms the criteria for quality work. For example, discussion post content, thorough and well written. Discussion post response, thoughtful and well written. Step 3. Take criteria and ask, what is? For example, what is a thorough discussion post? A thorough discussion post is one in which the student not only responds to the question prompt, but where she or he also applies key course concepts by using examples. Step 4. Highlight key components of quality work criterion. For example, a thorough discussion post applies key course concepts and uses examples. Step 5. Edit for clarity. Discussion post reflects the application of course materials through examples and personal experiences. Step 6. Determine performance benchmarks and point values. For example, high, excellent, exemplary, above average, high pass, very good, average, satisfactory, pass, acceptable, sufficient, good, adequate, low, improvement needed, lax, limited use of, insufficient. Try not to be too negative with the lows. Step number seven, combine benchmarks and quality work criterion. Example, an average discussion post includes sufficient application of course concepts, but more support or personal experience could be provided, 10 out of 15 points. And there you have it, seven steps for creating rubrics.